all right all right welcome in welcome in thank you guys for watching welcome to the episode of the talk this podcast and i hope you've been watching the world cup because let me tell you we've been enjoying it definitely been a world cup for jaw-dropping moments surprises and we had one heck of a quarterfinal match round guys uh but with that being said you know what let's kick off the festivities with the only place to start Croatia, Brazil. Now, this one was a surprise. Me, I was repping Brazil all the way, so I was very disappointed to see these guys go out, especially the way they happened. I mean, you know, at least I got to see Neymar do his thing. You know, was, you know, just like this is the last stand for Ronaldo, Messi. I'm not saying this is the last stand for Neymar, but, you know, Neymar gets a lot injured more than those guys, so... It really makes sense if you're thinking about the toll he's put on his body. It really makes sense to to that you know this might be his last. So it really really hurt to see him come out. But what do you guys think? What biggest takeaways from this match? Biggest surprises? Let me hear it. Say something to our most valued listeners. Like if you're not watching the World Cup, just just stop right there. Just pause the video, go watch the highlights, and then get back to this because you're missing out. First of all. <laughs> Very Brazil. What the hell happened there? Like, how 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 does Magic keep keep getting away with this? I'm not surprised, by the way. Um, Magic Brozovic. Yeah. Uh, man, no, man, they made just, because wait, man, dude, just, it's retired. What I'm saying is, they he's retired, but he's on the, he's on the, he's on the bench as a, as a coach. Exactly. The core the core of that Croatian team has been here before. So it didn't matter what team they faced, they weren't going to be deterred. <laughs> I expect them to beat Argentina, really. Yes. Yes, yes. I really do. Really? Yes. Yes. I expect them to beat Argentina. Same page. I, I Whether penalties or outright, they will find a way to win that game. <laughs> They're going to the we World Cup. We, we can't let Messi go and choke in the in the World Cup. Another World Cup I wanted to choke now. <laughs> no, okay. So now here's my question. Here's my question. You think you think they're gonna beat Argentina? You think it's gonna go 120 minutes again? Because yeah. whether it goes, it on, I don't think it matters. Like regular time, gonna find extra time, way. penalties. Yeah, they're going down. They're gonna find some way to win that game. By any means. You know why? Like, look, look, I wanted Argentina to make the final, like at the beginning of this World Cup. But the way that they beat um who they beat? They beat they beat Mexico. You talking about the first, the first the, the their celebrations people. after they after they beat Netherlands. Oh yeah. <laughs> they deserve they deserve to be beaten. Like that was. Hold on, hold on. Let's do, no. Let's let's stay on that. Let's stay on that. What exactly about this celebration is is? Oh, Messi's antics. Oh, he has. Did you mean Messi's antics? <laughs> do you did you did you guys watch? You guys definitely watched the game, so you know it was it was Netherlands that was that was chatting first. I mean, but the game is over though. You can you can you, you're going at war on the pitch, but after the game, like be like be polite to people that are walking up to you to shake your hand. Like no, you're soft. You're talking all you're chatting all that during the game. You keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. I agree with, with that actually. I have no I thought we were supposed to leave it all on the pitch. And then after No. Okay. no. Spill over. This didn't just stem from this game. I'm the hater. Okay. This didn't just stem from this game. This is stemming from like a while Thank back. Thank you. Van Gaal hated Raquel Mayer. They have history. And, and yes. Yeah, they yes. have history. That's yeah. why um yeah. when Messi yeah. did the the Kelvin celebrate. I think that was yeah. the actually. To, to, to piggyback on what you had this, is, to, uh, to is back moments back. after. Before we get to the ref, to piggyback on what Manny said, Argentina and Netherlands have history. Not just the players. The yeah. history of these two co countries. Netherlands has always lost to Argentina in penalties. <laughs> Every trip. Oh, it happened in last, it happened yeah. last World Cup. They live rent free. <laughs> In Netherlands heads. I don't oh, know what it is. That's just the history. 
So oh, that aside. Argentina Ooh. led Neri blew it at the end right there. Croatia is not gonna be so nice. Croatia is not gonna be like that. They're they're gonna come with a game plan ready to go right away. But here's the thing, I don't think Croatia I don't think Croatia is scoring two goals though. Remember, they don't that's score two goals from open play for them to, for them to push. To. I, mean, they I don't see what's going to happen. They're but I don't think they need to because Argentina's not scoring two One goals. 1-0. That's all they need. That's what I think Croatia's not conceding the goal. It's not, it's not all they need to do is not concede a goal and, and they're going through. Yeah, they kept Brazil with one goal. They literally so, just have to stop <laughs> messing. And don't give yeah, away no penalties. That's it. Don't, don't, don't give Messi those two penalties. Lautaro Martinez, and I, I hope y'all know how I feel about him. I think he's he's him. But he has not even been somebody this World Cup. <laughs> he's been yeah, the exact he opposite hurt. of him. He was hurt. No, no, no. He finally showed up in the PK shootout. At but the if end. you saw every <laughs> other game before then. Yeah, he was in my era. You're right. You're absolutely right. So what I'm saying is, Croatia... Bro, they're not Netherlands, bro. They're they're not gonna be dragging their feet for eighty minutes and then want to start playing in the in the eighty fifth minute. No, okay. for the brace. That's just what I've seen from them the entire World Cup. Like, <laughs> yeah. Even when Brazil <laughs> scored, no, even when no, Brazil no. scored, a weaker mandate team is like, oh man, they just scored extra time. No, they were like, <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we have they have that. They have, they have that local mentality. I'm just they're just, they're they're just, they're just they're concerned. Scared. Um, they just got the job done. Yeah, they're not scared of Argentina. They've been here before. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's that's Croatia. That's Croatia. But well, let's kick it back to Brazil before we move on to the next match. Right, right. Where do they go from here? I'll let y'all oh. know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yes, that yeah. was the golden fridge and the creme. I don't know what I'm looking at. And I brought this to my guys and like in my group chat. And basically, I personally feel this is not me being biased because it's an Arsenal player. This is me off of watching the player that got subbed in play for his club, and my player played got in this same World Cup the last <laughs> game. Yeah, Martinelli, bro. Martinelli oh, should have came on for Anthony, bro. Okay. Instead of Anthony. Oh, and how he oh, got shut oh, down. I actually, I actually agree with that. Yeah, Anthony is... Yo, it, it, I'm going to ask y'all a question, right? When Anthony came on, did you guys think he was a game changer? No. Uh, no. I don't think... Yo, listen. Anthony is giving me a lot of what Jaden Sancho is giving me at Man United. It's a lot of... It's a lot of... It's a lot of... <laughs> jubilant, it's a lot. It's a lot of. It's a lot of. It's a lot of flash. A lot of flare. And then at the end of the day, end of the day you're left. You're left sitting back and looking at them like, "What were you doing with the ball? What were you doing?" One the only one that nominates these footballers for this for a certain list. He can win the one one match, right? He can, but he just doesn't. I don't know why. Like he does too much. He does too much. He'll win his. What what Anthony likes to do? He'll win the matchup. But because he likes to dribble, he will dribble himself back into trouble. Yeah, and then he has to pass back. Yeah. Martinelli is on goal. Yeah, like he's going to ask you. And he is. I agree like, with you. I know, Manny, I agree with you, Martin. I like Martinelli more because he's way more direct. No. As a defender, as a defender, I would rather defend Anthony than Martinelli. Every time. Every but, time. But here's the thing. There's an issue. Where was he against Cameroon? Who, Martinelli? Yeah. He started, played all 90 minutes. So, hold on, hold on. So, so you're right about, you're right with the point you're bringing up, but I also, I also think team, team setup plays a large part in that too. I was about to. I, I think that, I think that, that team setup was it. Because you have to, because Jesus also started. He did. And, and Jesus started. Jesus did and not it, have a good tournament. Let's be, I would just keep no. Only Arsenal yeah, no. could have had a good tournament for Arsenal. I think Richarlison oh, had, had flashes. Saka, Saka, bro. Richarlison had flashes Saka, Saka, of Saka, good. Oh, well, but it just went downhill from there. Yeah, he fizzled. Neymar, Saka, 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 Neymar does what Neymar does. Yes. He gets injured oh. halfway through the tournament, and then they get knocked out. Yeah. Same yeah. with yeah. the young. But except I can't blame Neymar because he scored in that game. Yeah, he did. 
He did. Man. What? You, you, you know my my argument for your comment about Martinelli about him against Kim Yes, because I really want to hear. Martinelli just got you know bumped up to to first team like officially, right? Mm. He, he doesn't have experience with the first team like that. Respect. He's I think when was did, did he play against them? Uh, with them. I mean, I can easily I can do you one better. Thank you. He subbed on I think for something, but he doesn't. He he doesn't on, I think he's been on. The previous matches yeah, he hasn't really started for the team. On like, like that was his first start in the world. Yeah, though. and and also he, like, he gave him time. Yeah, so he yeah. got into. But literally, I think it was the next game or the next game that they subbed him in. His like production went up. Like he was killing so that left back. So. Now nah, he's a better ball. So I think like you know when you're playing a full game. You got to be smart about, you know, when you make runs. And you can't just be going, going, going. You're going to tire out. Yeah. But when you're coming at the subs. That's a good point. When you're coming as a sub for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah. You know you're coming here to pressure this guy the whole 20 minutes. Yep. Right? Yep. So he came on. He was just, he was eating. He was crossing. He was, it just wasn't quick. He just wasn't finishing any of it. You make a good point, though. Yeah. But, yeah, but I think that, that again, I, I feel like with time, it will figure that out, it, you know. Again, because I remember when he started for Arsenal, mm -hmm. he wanted to start off just running, running. They had to, like, I remember I watched a bunch of, like, select um videos for Martinelli trainings. They had to basically, like, coach him, like, my guy, like, you're good and you're very, like, on point, but like, you have to relax because you can't do this for 90 minutes yeah. like, at this level. <laughs> because it's such a high level, like, you can't be, like, Constantly. Go ahead, Marcus. So you just, must, to, must, just to come must, in and just give you, like, give you full context from that guy, bro, Martinelli. His yes. debut on the senior team was March 25th, 2022, and he's only had six appearances overall. I'm telling right. you, he's a fresh rookie. No, right. No, like what what, what um, Manny just said. No, that, that definitely makes sense because, like I said, in probably not Cameroon match, probably the first 30 minutes, oh, he was probably their most dangerous player for Brazil. But then after that, <laughs> basically, Brazil just allowed Cameroon to just hang yeah. around that game. And then mm -hmm. in the 80th minute, we're like, it's still 0 0. <laughs> Let, you know? They but, start, yeah. What part does Brazil start with a few now? Over. over I still don't know. Personally, me don't personally, know. Anthony. And Rafinha were the two question marks in that squad. One mm. of them should have not made that squad, and you should have taken Bobby. And they should have Bobby Firmino was there. <sighs> the moment, the moment, the <laughs> moment he just came down with that injury, we're looking at a whole different goal. Finish some things. That guy knows how to finish. I, I would have taken the Hulk over Rafinha. I hope it's too old. At least, at least <laughs> you know what he's good for. I hope it's too old. I hope it's too old. Come on, let the guy rest. <laughs> The guy's kicking. This is a good transition. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. On that note, we just leave that. We just leave with that joke on a good note. Agreed. Move on to the next game: Netherlands, Argentina. Now, this one was another 120 minute game, another PK shootout. Um, uh, but you know, even though. I think the road wasn't exactly what was predicted. I think ultimately the team we thought was gonna win ended up coming out on top. Yeah, they were they were really shaky at the end there, like and going into extra time and penalties, but they pulled through. I was I, I was woefully disappointed in that round. I mean Ooh. I mean once uh oh it's his name, where her scored, I was like, Oh, game on. They decided to do something. Let me score another one. I was like, oh, Yo, the comeback, was geez, I'm not going to lie, the comeback was serious. Like, yeah, it was serious. No, that's, 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 that's when the game I, started. Like, I was immensely disappointed at Netherlands, man. I thought they had more fight than that, man. Bro, that, that free kick at the end. No, but that, that was... It's certain, it's certain it's certain things, like, like, blame Argentina on that. I really they slept off. Wait, hold on, but how could you blame like, like, Bola, go in expecting to lose. You know, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not you're the lesser yeah. team. But it's like, stand that. But let's be honest. Who is expecting that set piece play from that position at that oh, moment of the game? He's done it before. Let's go, 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 go. Before you continue, before you continue. No, no, hold on. Before, before you continue, let's. Then you give up. 
That is no, literally. hold on. I get that. But let's ask it specifically. What is the specific, what like what is the real chance of, of a team putting up that play at that time? We're talking it, about ninety percent. You love to see those. Like I was really. That was really that's that's still, but but the, the issue even before the free kick setup, the foul was a foolish foul. Yes, yeah. that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the problem with the rule. That's the problem. The foul. That was at that time. Ta- come on, you know better. But even even before the foul, Argentina had been bending and shaking and be looking like, whoa, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, they were on the, on the edge. It was all leading up to it. I think I think, I think it was a team, a team being overconfident that they would win easily and another team thinking they would yes. lose easily. But and then they like, like, yo, all these guys aren't that solid. We can, we can go at them. But they realized that it's too late. And you the know, substitute that you know, Van Gaal made, they... No, they they made a good game. The substitution that Van Gaal made basically decided like he was just gonna punt the ball into the box. Yeah, he subbed in every play on his roster that was six foot and above. And if I, I I saw one play, it was like a snippet where the was it Lisandro Martinez was the guy that was defending. Yes, the guy yes. That her that- was? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like no, yes, yeah. <laughs> this guy know what. They- so Wait, looking at so that difference looking at how effective the substitutions were, mm-hmm. I just have to ask why wasn't this considered in the game plan? Because that is, I don't think it's I'm with you, Marcus. That's where I'm with Marcus. That's I don't think I don't think those guys excellence. can play ninety minutes. That's the problem. I personally don't think Wargus or whatever his name is could play full minutes. But there's that. But look at hold on, hold on, hold on, Zach. There's other players. Go on, Marcus. There's other that was players. Players. That does. It's but fun. You feel, I feel like that would even work better for the game plan because then you look, look at that. You're thinking about because look at the players you took off. He took off the pie. Yes. Now, now, can, you, can you imagine? Can you imagine somebody like him coming on at the 60th minute, 65th minute? Like, right? I agree. Because <laughs> I agree. Even, even with with that, what's his name? They brought on Berg Berg guys. Why is Bergwijn playing in the starting lineup? I don't understand. What did he offer? And Base. once Berg, what's his name? The number eleven. Once Bergwijn came, different attack, completely changed everything. You know, no, Bergwijn Berg, reminds me of Bergwijn reminds me of Daniel James on on Wales. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're um, not wrong. <laughs> That's literally how he played. Yo, seriously, seriously. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with Marcus, absolutely. Like, why wasn't this the game plan? Yeah. So, they deserve to lose at the end of the day. The question's to be asked, man. Yeah. yeah. We all knew they were going to right. Nobody picked anybody other than Argentina. I picked them to go to the semifinal. stupid me. But, hey. It is what it is. You know, I mean, you, you could have me back to the quarterfinal. I, you know, some of us had Belgium going through. I, yeah, I yeah. did. Some of us I had did. that Belgium finishing third. I, I, yes. I, some I, of us I, had Portugal going through. As the final, <clears throat> as the third, or the third uh, team that I had, I had um, Argentina. Hmm. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, Brazil was out, though. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> could still make it, but, like, I'll save that for later. Mm. What game? Nah. We'll next. All right. Okay. It looks like, we're, it looks like we're, we're all wrapped up on this one. Nothing else to talk about on this. Next yeah. matchup, we got probably the biggest upset um, <laughs> of the weekend. Man. Morocco and Portugal. Man. Morocco being the first African team to make it through the quarterfinal to the semifinal. Yeah, Although, yeah. on a side note, we hear that um, they don't really, really claim. It's so okay. So they we're running with it. We're running with it. They've made this, way for Africa. This jersey, does not, this jersey doesn't have a name on the back, but I'm, I'm going to write Hakimi on it. Hakimi okay. or Amrabat? What's that guy's name? Amrabat? Afrabat? Amrabat. 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 I like it, man. Last game. The walk was, um, all, oh, my goodness. Walk was. He was everywhere. Oh my the last game, not, not the game against, um, not this upset against, uh, who did this upset? Um, Portugal. Sure. Yeah, not, not that one. The one before Spain, that. Spain, Spain, Spain. 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 Yeah. We yeah. had Pedro, 
Busquets and yep. was it Gavi or whatever? Gavi, 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 Busquets. You were blocking every pass they were reading. You were yeah. Yeah. Well, this, is what, this, is what into me. Like, this is what this is what um talk this about is what this dude Spurs manager forget it Antonio Conte this is what Conte yeah. had them doing with, with Inter Milan bro must be yeah yeah Conte I've heard Antonio Conte he been making his plays run him and um what's his name um the guy from Atletico Madrid. Yeah 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 yep yep. He's a he, so he Simeon Ball is haram though. Like even Mourinho would not <laughs> to those levels of Diego Simeone, but it's okay. He's a Simeon Ball is haram, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I, I've had Conte as manager. I've had Mourinho as manager. I would never want Diego Simeone as my manager. I have like, to give. I, it's terrible. Give, I don't give. know how he won the league. It's Suarez. Suarez. If we're gonna bring, if we're gonna bring some kind of parrot of the day, the parrot of the day goes to the Portuguese coach for benching Cristiano Ronaldo. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was gonna play him. It only took took us sixteen episodes to nominate a parrot. It's it gotta be. It, it has to be. The Wait, it's been two, two games. If if it were a, a elimination game, you've know what port, what this man has done. Come on, He's done it for your team. Is, is score knockout goals like that? That's that's yes. all. So, this so way, if you have to play ninety minutes in an elimination game, Ronaldo will get you one goal. I promise you that. And he I'm would, not, he I'm not take a penalty, man. like. He shouldn't even be part of the game plan. Know, Just play him. We're not being swayed the by the social media posts. We may be being swayed by the social media posts. I'm man. not, bro. I'm not. I, I damn near cry. But before that post, I even before that post, sad. I was like, you can't bench this man for this Poor game. Goats. Yes, you can. Also, his last one. Poor it's the last one. Yes, you can. Listen, listen if you're saying, you're saying you should have if you you came on earlier than... Then when he did, should have came on at half to do it. No, no, no. Is there a no, at, no, at the no, first I'm not saying you should have come on as a sub. You cannot start Gonzalo Ramos. Why? Why? He's going to have trick. Yeah, but that was just like intro. Like, that was respectfully, you're not going to bank off of it. He did his run. He did his run. He 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 Thanks, <laughs> Liao, as well. And that's another unforgivable mistake. Well, it's so you're, 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 talking like, you're talking like Ramos had a bad game. The no, chances that Portugal yeah, had, they, it was it was Ramos. No, no, what you do know, when you came on, you didn't do nothing much after you came on. So I like, that's the thing about it. Did you get any balls? Had a bad game. You know why? He missed chances to score. That would have put the ball. Ronaldo has one job. It doesn't matter okay. if, if Ronaldo passes, he misses all his passes, and he scores. He had a great game. I promise, That's you, I promise you. I promise you. If Ronaldo, if Ronaldo started the game, Ronaldo probably would have won three now. No, no, no. Listen, listen, Marcus. I bet to differ. I bet to differ. The reason why I bet to differ is that Ramos was doing that Ronaldo just cannot do anymore. Uh, listen, listen. This is why I bet to differ, right? He was missing. He no, missed listen, listen. a wide open header in front of the goal. He, he missed his, his chances. Goal. His chances to the side. I'm talking about the work rate, the defensive work rate. Hey, 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 defensive work rate. Goals, Marcus. This is this is my my point. Okay. This is my point. This is my point. Listen, listen. This is my point. Work rate. So basically, basically, if Ronaldo is playing, you know, you're not getting. Defense from that part, you, they they have come back for that. They also not pressing, and that's not, what, that was very successful too. It's, it's not like Morocco is a team that scored goals. I'm getting to somewhere. I'm getting to somewhere. Right? The first substitution, um, for for that game was Gavi. Yeah, 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 Gavi. Yeah,
what's his name? Bruno Fernandez. Yeah. And, and Rafael, Rafael, Leal. Leal. And Rafael Leal was getting yeah. the ball. He should have started look, too. Look, look. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> Fernando Santos, Portugal coach, played very soon. If that hadn't come on, and for that first guy, the results would have been better. I'm telling you that because Ronaldo needed. Yo, he was fine in space. Yeah, the ball wasn't getting to him at all on the corners. On the, it was like, what is you people can't cross? Like this is your, this should be like your hail mary type thing. Like you should be. At the end of practice, they they, it. at the end of practice, they all work on crossing the ball to Ronaldo just, no. just to be able to I guess we saw it. it. And not even to do at the same time. That's your boy, what? Marcus. Listen, man, all I have to say is this. Going forward, all right, I'll give that to you. Yeah. I'll give that to you guys. Like all I'm saying is this. Oh, man. If you take away the chances that Ramos was missing yesterday, missed them. The Ronaldo man saved. Ronaldo. The man was. The man saved multiple attacks that could have ended in Moroccan goals. But I don't need my striker to do that. No, that's that's that's, that's that is the and and actually the, 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 the chances. The cha- some of the some of the best chances that Portugal were from Ramos ending the attack early and winning the ball where he won the ball. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you were always going to have more possession in that game. Morocco were literally just like, here, if you score, fine. But we're not going to just give you space. That's what I'm saying. That's why you need Ronaldo. Gonzalo Ramos is not going to excel in a game like that. I don't know. Was it Switzerland that they played? Is that He's also new to the team, bro. Who, who, who did he score his hat trick against, Marcus? Please tell me. So it's Switzerland now? Okay, but hey, they made it to the knockout round. Bro, Switzerland? But they got beat 6 1, though. That's kind That's of. That's what I'm saying. And, and so the pe- the team that beat them 6 1 is also going home. In fact, that team went home before them. Switzerland's what? not a good team, man. Okay, so Switzerland's not a good team. What is Spain? Because Spain went home before them. Wait, 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 wait. Who was the one that said I am not that seven zero victory to Costa Rica? It was Spain. I said that Spain is not a good team like that, and Morocco proved me right. (laughs) Okay, I said Alvaro Morata is going to do what? Alvaro Morata. He scored, nah, that, he scored that, 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 he, so he had three goals in three games. Though, so. Bro, I knew. Nah, it was just he scored three goals too. Just to be honest, what happened to Richardson? With, he with, with, with Morata, this is all I'll say. With Morata, there's a reason why the Spain manager quit the day after they got they got bounced. Yeah, that's all I have to say, man. There's a reason, there's a reason he got bounced. I can't get it. Oh, we're gonna cry. That is my striker. <laughs> Like, I used to have the Villa up front. Now we have Morata. Man, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, that's what that Even Torres. Is. Even Torres is better than Morata. Okay, so last question on this. Not even World Cup-related question. Um, what's next for Ronaldo? Where do you guys want to see him next? Me, personally, I think it's, it's about that time. Make the move to the States. Pull up to the MLS. There's a whole into Miami way for you. It's disrespecting him in Europe. He should go make money and just enjoy his life. Alistair. It's disrespecting him too much. First of all, in I mean, if you know if Saudi Arabia pay him more, he should go there. But, but he's already you said no. He yeah, wants to be competitive. He needs to be competitive. Do you have any idea who he's playing with in Al Nassar? Vincent Abubakar and Cristiano Ronaldo? He's already, he's already, he's already distanced himself from those reports. Though. He got to do his play four four two. I mean, he said that there's nothing agreed yet. I mean, he, he literally just got knocked out like a couple of days ago. There was no time for him to agree a contract. His contract was a uh, was a uh, uh, what? Did they cancel his contract like literally right before the World Cup, like yeah. going to the World Cup. So, like, of course, he hasn't he hasn't had time to sit down. He's probably on vacation right now. He's not worried. He's unemployed, but he still, he still has he like left. 100 million. He just, like, he has like, As a trust, they can't sign. I don't him. see anybody in Europe making the call, bro. Like, you want you know, just keep it the Honestly, I if MLS, if, if, um, if, if, it's called, if it actually is called soccer, not football, 
MLS need to get they need to put the funds in and bring Ronaldo to the States. I mean Ronaldo's not gonna they don't have the but them team has designated player. Put I don't see any every team on Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Like you know it's funny, you know on a side note, it's funny. It's no they have the, 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 the you know the black market, you know, I don't know where they make, how they make money, but they have it. You know, you know, it's, it, it's funny on a side note, just thinking on soccer, it was British that created soccer. Yes, yeah. it was. And when point. was the last time they won the World Cup? No, I'm not talking about like created the game. I'm saying they created the, the nickname soccer. Yeah. No, well, the British created the game. There's a, there's a, there's a oh, British TV oh, show, Soccer Sunday. I know you've seen the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so me, I want to, I want to see Ronaldo in the last. I don't see him going to anywhere in Europe other than Sporting Lisbon. Until we got knocked out, it's not, it's, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not soccer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got knocked out. But that England France matchup. Oh yes, the best, the best match of the of the World Cup thus far. Yo, to be honest, um, you know, there's been a lot of actually. Wait, let's see. Go walk, walk down, Mbappe. I just have one question. Second half. Hold on, hold on. What's up? What's up? Could you find Phil Foden? Because I could. I I I, I looked. Wait, oh, who? Wait, wait. What's what was so, his name again? Please tell me. I hope you know because he's a Manchester City player, and you being a Manchester City which player. Wait, wait, wait. Which one? I'm hoping you would know where Phil Foden has been. Listen, we've been looking for him. Since that match, and we still I, I haven't know. seen him. I watched England play like yeah. three times, and I didn't see. The Listen, games. I so, did not see one single second. They should have started missing out. Where where to... let's, let's listen to where the Foden was. Nah, yes. I really wish they put Foden in though. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem with South. Yo, not that's what the to happen with Southgate. Because Foden definitely needed to play. I don't know why Marcus Rashford yeah, chose those minutes. I think Foden would have balled out better than Rashford. Bro, one hundred percent. I don't know why. I don't know why Rash was getting all these minutes. Wait, 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 Marcus. What did the, the, the Foden school? What, what, what did he do? Right. What did he? What did he do? How, how much? How much opportunity was he given? Thank you. That's how the much question should be asking? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I got this. I got this. How much opportunity did they have? <laughs> how about Messi not making a run in the box and getting fouled and getting a penalty? But well, Foden wasn't even on the pitch. How about creating your opportunity for yourself? How about not waiting for the ball to come to you? And then thinking, oh, let me do a nice little, oh, dribble here, dribble there. Is Foden playing this world? Did Foden even play in that match at Sally, huh? No. Phil Foden, in, Phil Foden started in two games in this World Cup. Two. What has he done? I missed what? all games. He did, he did score one goal. That's bad. He stuck in the games. I didn't want to reference him scoring him. He's a very forgettable boy. That's what I'm saying. He scored one goal in a 6 to do something of 4-0 demolishing of, of a Wales team that had already given up and they were playing a backup keeper off the streets. But you know who also, who also confused him? It's <laughs> Matt Sutter. That's a hard Matt Sutter. Is there a bug that? Come on. Bro. It's Matt Sutter. They had a got a yellow, uh, a red card the previous day, and then when he got a keeper in the club who was just drinking Hennessy to come and play, <laughs> James <laughs> Madison should have played. <laughs> like, James Madison should have played above Jack. James Grealish. Madison should have played. Yes, above Jack Grealish. Grealish. Have been called up at all. Madison would have found Saka. Oh my goodness! And Phil Foden should like, have like, been a sub. What has Grealish done this season that Sancho has? Yeah, I, I don't get Grealish, bro. Under million dollars is not making sense. <laughs> like, Sancho, <laughs> really like, also just as fraudulent as, as Sancho. Like, what would be good? More, more fraudulent. No, 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 you can't call this man more fraudulent than, than Sancho. <laughs> so the guy is still... Because the, 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 the difference between... The difference between... The difference between Grealish and Sancho is at least at man at man you. Sancho, there's no competition for a spot. If Sancho's on the bench, he deserves to be on the bench. If, there's, if Sancho's on the bench, he deserves to be on the bench. If you're at City, especially the time when we bought Grealish, we still have Sterling, we still have Foden still trying to do his thing. Like, now Sterling is gone this season. 
But it's really pepper lit that over there on the on the left hand side, bro. And all I know is I feel like let me ask you, wait, 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 wait. Now I have to ask him this one question, Marcus. Marcus, is Jack Grealish a hundred million player? As of right now, no, bro. Thank you. But you know, I didn't even want him. I really didn't want him. I didn't want to. I didn't want him to spend the money. Bro, but in retro, yes, I guess in retrospect, I gotta say yes because yeah, it bad. allowed us to, to buy Highland, and I guess because we didn't go and break the bank on Harry Kane. But at the time, I really good. Didn't want him. Good, you didn't do that. I mean, yeah. one, there's only one club that said Man City for the past how many ten years, and it was Spurs. Like, but like y'all, y'all sign whoever you want. Just spend stupid money. So you deserve British being in your squad. And he's gonna play a lot. Come on, man. Amen. You know, you know. Is it B I? He's just time. It? You know what? His time is coming. His time is coming. Maybe, maybe he's just not set to be a winger. Maybe you know, at some point we're gonna find a way somehow to fit him in like, like we did with his. It'll be like this, and then we trash him. Y'all selling to Arsenal for like twenty five mil. Oh, but we. Oh, for big basketball, yes. this is Yo, speaking of Arsenal, hold on. Speaking of Arsenal, speaking they're trying of to buy Jao Phoenix. Speaking, they're, they're, they're trying to buy Jao Phoenix. Well, no, we're not trying to buy him. What a crazy bid for him, though. We're not, trying yeah. to, we're not trying to buy him. We're trying to loan him with an option to buy him because of what we have going on. Yeah, pulling the way. way. It's, 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 I hate them. I hate them. They always no, want to sign them. That's right. And, um, we're trying to buy actually that we're actually trying to buy Memphis. <laughs> Interesting. As a back Memphis though. No, as a back. No, 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 no. Listen, you know, it's as a back of Felix alone. So it would be a backup to Jesus. Jesus and it would be to Eddie. Uh, no, it's only Eddie that we have. Like so Jesus. What would you do? What would you do with job? What would you do with job? My place for huh? Barcelona still. Oh. What would you do with job? What, what position like, is he in? Okay. No, no, yes. Yeah. He would be basically a sub for soccer. So you would buy Jao Felix and spend all that money. We're not buying them. No, yeah. I understand. You're loaning, you're loaning, but it's going to be an option to buy. No. You're not going to loan it. Then you have like we're a hundred and fifty million rejected for the like, 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 We still have real help. We're going to end it. Ah, what gets in that? That man on They're not going to learn how Felix. You're going to have to be learning him. No, no, I'm telling you, he's going for the rest of the contract. What a contract on that. It's not going to be an option. It's going to be an obligation. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's going to be, 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 be an obligation. Games, you're gonna yeah, have to I, I definitely agree with that. There will be Yeah, option. it's not going to be an option. You know what one of the most exciting prospects, Arsenal. If they pay 140 mil for that, I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be so sick. Honestly, how do you mail for that? That Felix is just a poor man's Havertz. And Havertz, you already know how I feel about him. Just say Havertz. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, Felix is better than Havertz, let's be honest. You know how I fucking this is the finals of the Champions League. What is he watching? What important games has he scored in and what trophies has he brought back to? I don't care. He's had Diego Simeone as a coach. Listen, Havertz has had a carousel. I understand that. Havertz has had a carousel of coaches. Each and every coach that Havertz has had actually were played to a system that Havertz could actually play. Diego Simeone does not play a system conducive to John Felix's strengths. Look. And there's nothing because the you have three different coaches trying to implement three different things. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't. I understand. That's three different overall mean. plans, but still yeah. plans that are good for him. For four years. No, if you're with the same coach, bro, I see how Atletico Madrid play. They rely on Alan Felix for like everything. They, 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 they don't. They don't play. They force him to stay in his ass, bro. Did you, did you remember when we played them in the, in, in the Champions League? They played them past the right way. 
that's the Champions League. Atletico Madrid are not good enough to make it far in the Champions League. They're not. Being ridiculous. What do you mean I'm being ridiculous? They are where they are. They're not. Why do you? They, 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 the way they, 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 they play about each other. He's own son. He's own son. His own blood. He's better than Jesus, Jesus, though. Come on, bro. <laughs> like he would say what? <laughs> he's better than Gabriel Jesus. Like he would do what uh, or something. He's definitely better than Gabriel Je- Jesus, but he you not can't better, compare to Kai Havertz. They're not the same sets. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, if, 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 if you want to go, um, up, uh, what do you he call? He would uh, score more goals for for Arsenal. Like they started off hot in the middle Okay, and but, then his pockets is low to look now. Deep to the numbers. Another fraudulent transfer that Messi got away with. I'm tired of y'all. Anyway, sorry, bro. You can't even mention something. this guy. Yeah, let's talk about something that's true. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, I mean, we're pretty much to the end of the matchups. One last thing we want to talk about is you know we have the other half of the semifinal, Morocco oh, wait, and France. Who we got? I have one question about the England fans to 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 all of you. Before we go on. So, no, no, yeah, about the England, yeah, about the matchup. So, are all of you putting Harry Kane on your front list? Oh, oh man, I'm on my team. Hudson. Harry Kane is like the biggest frauds of all time, bro. Like, Harry Kane has <laughs> never scored a goal that led to anything good for the team or country. He's he's a he's the biggest fraud in the history of frauds. He's what. Right, I wow. hate him. All they had to do was score the penalty. We should not sit marking for you. All you do is take it to take it to penalties. Wow, Marcus, I hate him. You're talking like this because of the Mason Mount that got the that got. The I hate him, mm. but really though, Harry Kane. I hope he stays at Spurs. It, it, it will never be better than Spurs. Yeah, Spurs Big, it's a it will, I, There's no way else he can. He go. deserves it. I hope they never let him go. I hope they're telling you it's a 200 mil to stay. <laughs> the match made in paradise. He has to retire. <laughs> England will never yeah. win anything starting him. They should have started Tammy. Yeah. Tammy would have scored two penalties. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about that. <laughs> this is for like three, four days. Bro, Harry Kane is useless. Bro, he's yeah. only yeah. no plug in. No, no, he's supposed to be the highest Premier League goal scorer of all time, but he's never won the Premier League. No, if you, my guy should have the Premier League community shield. Can we at least give him credit for time when Rooney? Can we give him some? No, get out. No, no, he doesn't get credit for that because if he has put the penalty, he'll be in the other corner. How do you get off his own head? It's a score from 18 yards out. Yeah. You become English Mason goal scorer. And give your team a For chance. Sure. You're a captain. You're in charge. I'm not out of here. Put it on your team. Get to your team. You get a rebound or something. I'm not I'm out of here. What on that, bro? Because Harry Kane is going to be in another World Cup. All right. Man. What's next? He's going to be. He's going to stink up so, another World Cup. When's the next one? Actually, actually, I'm not so sure. You're not Ooh. sure? Okay. No, because because I'm already starting to see dips. And mm. the gaps of the goal scoring gaps are starting to get larger, mm-hmm. and injuries are starting to be a little bit more frequent. I mean, they've always been frequent with Harry Kane. Right. He, he, he's just starting to be a little bit more he's frequent. Good. He's, he's this is his age thirty season. He's going to be thirty four. It's not. Gonna, it's, it's a different type of thirty four. He's not going to be Benzema thirty four. Come on. Now. No, no. He's going to He's going to pull up Wayne Mooney and start and start and make it. He's going to be there. He's going to be there. He's going to be there. Unfortunately, I feel like a good person, he would have retired after England lost. He would have just that would have been his apology. I would have forgiven him. He just ruined. He still wants to come on. He just ruined. Now, to answer your question, to answer your question, you saw you saw the racism that came out after those penalties were missed by by Saka and Rashford and then. Harry Kane missed a penalty. True. Nobody's holding him accountable. Where's the accountability? I was looking on social media for any type of slander. Nobody said it. He's been off the loop. 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 He's been off the lo
It never happened. I'm giving him a pass, honestly. <laughs> it's so serious. No, no, I'm with you. I, I'm with you because I, I think he's just unlucky. I think yeah. he's unlucky. I think he's in sleep, bro. I'm really giving him a, a pass. Yo, he's 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 bro, you're you're Harry Kane. You're supposed to be one of the top strikers in your generation. And you can't be getting on target. He's a planet. Who would score that penalty? I think I think what we're looking at here, guys, is the the problem here is just who he is as a person. The guy is not demanding as a as a star. Like he's so if he only if if we got what Mbappe is going out of control, just took a little bit of that and sprinkled it onto Harry Kane, we might have a different deal because, like, oh, if the man you don't have, if the man you press to move mm-hmm. you can still be at Spurs, for example. Like, so he sense. tried, yeah. but he was kind of stupid in the way he tried. Like, he tried. Oh, you. But he was kind of dumb in the way he, he tried. He tried to force me out of Spurs. <laughs> Was was you was your way out after signing a five-year contract. What? No, wasn't like the seven year. No, no applause. You, you, like you signed the contract and then you try to. Force now you're angry out. about it. Yeah, like, like that. Of the he said, <laughs> said, said, bro said <laughs> we, we 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 shook on it, but bro, that's not what he says in your contract. There's no handshake in the you contract. Signed, you signed the, yeah, contract. you signed it. You can't just force your way out after set. If you want to force your way out, and don't also, sign the contract. I have I'm another reason. Bro, <laughs> I never used to hit on Harry Kane before <laughs> two days ago. If Harry Kane has signed for Man City, that's a that's, uh, Norwegian disaster. Would have, would have signed. Yep. <laughs> Everybody hits him. Hey, Ken, this is the one thing I'm, I'm thankful for. Thank you for Daniel Levy playing our ball. We'll take 110. We give him 110. He said, no, we want 120. We give him 120. He said, no, we want 130. We gave him 127. He said, no, we want 130. Okay, we, we finally broke bread. I said, we'll give you 130. The man said, no, we want 150. We said, all right, enough, enough. Yes, enough is enough. No, <laughs> no. No, 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 because they want to turn one ten to one fifty. That's the limit. Livy's thinking, Livy's thinking you should have taken the money and ran with it. Because the player has a new five year deal. So I have the, all the negotiating power. The player can't press you. Exactly. You're too full. You have all the negotiating power on a soon to be thirty year. That's perfect. Because <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks because of you we were all, we were able to go buy our Norwegian disaster for less than a hundred mil. <laughs> Exactly. Less than a hundred mil, only sixty mil. Greenish signed. Yeah, it was cheaper. And then y'all, wait, he had a release clause. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we bought sixty mil, bro. Easy, sixty. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, check. Yeah, sixty mil. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is a quick six million quid. No. Yeah. Uh, but, it was, yo, I feel like right. so, it was to be um, because of his, you know, his dad, you know, his his history with your club, so. Yeah. It was meant to, to be. Dude. Oh, I was also talking about Grealish too. Didn't Jao pay the pay the release clause for for Grealish from? Uh, no, nah, it wasn't a re- it wasn't a release clause. We had we we bought that straight up. Yeah, but we used our winnings because oh, y'all, we y'all have to. way too much money. We won, yeah. bro. We won. <laughs> we won a lot, bro. We won four four the last five. Yeah, I, I thought my club was rich. Okay, Man City. You, 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 you made 100 million on purpose. So they didn't even force you to. You just, just bid 100 million for him. Jesus. No, no, Shex, Shex, think about this. You're a club like Man City. You, you make like three, four hundred million off of whatever club sales. And then you and still get an extra 100, 100 million or 120 from the Premier League. Yeah. <laughs> If you go, since Pep has come, he, he changed up our, our academy. You know, our academy has been stably, consistently selling. We've been selling. It's not like big, like 20 million here, 20, 30 million there, but we've been getting, you know, 5 million, 10 million, 
12, but, 13. Actually, actually, you can't make it's not that good. Your biggest well, product is. But Sally Ramos comes from Sugar. Man City Academy. So, we you know. I know. Okay. Yeah. Who? Gonzalo Ramos. We know oh, him now. The dude that put a hat trick and then he didn't do anything yeah. in the next game because his coach set him up yes. for failure. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. All right, before you continue hating, let's 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 put a wrap up this. All right, let's wrap up this episode with uh, our our score line um, for Tomorrow. Morocco, France. What are we thinking? Morocco is being France. Inshallah, Amen. Look, um, what, is it against Morocco I'm, or is it two days from now? No, it's Wednesday. 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 Look, uh, at yeah. Wednesday, the game's at what, 2 p.m.? On Wednesday? Yeah. Look, yeah. at 1 p.m., we all need to face East and like just Google some Arabic prayers, please. We need to, we need to pray for Morocco. Who, oh, so what's people. your score line? What's your yeah, score what's line? What's the score line? And then he's saying all these prayers. Yeah, what's the score? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'll say it might be 3 2 Morocco. Actually, 2, maybe 2 2. And two, then two. they win the penalties. And penalties, okay, fair. Who's there? Morocco. He is, he, yeah. Mani, Mani Morocco, just, okay. <laughs> what happened to that? I'm also, I'm also doing 2 2 extra time penalties, Morocco. Mor oh. We're all team Morocco. We can't. We can't help it. We can't help it. Damn, oh, that's exactly. what, was, what was the score line? 2-1 Two one France. 2-1 Two one France. Oh. Okay. France meets Croatia in the finals. A logical. Them one for me. Logical. Look, uh, Croatia, if that's the case, I'm I, I'm a bet Croatia gets revenge all week until we see it. <laughs> I'm going for Croatia, man. I like... I'm not going to I think they're going to make the I mean, finals. We can go ahead and do our, our pitch for two. I, I will say this, though. I will say this, though. If Croatia makes the final. And Croatia, Croatia, Morocco final. Come on. The underdogs. If, I, and I will I say this. If Croatia makes the final, Modric's about to get another Ballon d'Or. But, okay, I'll follow his statement with this. If, if, Morocco, the, what's your name? Morocco, if Croatia being if there, Morocco make the finals, if you. Morocco make the finals, they are not losing it. They are not losing it. They, they, I they, think it's Ballon d'Or winner. That's time. But what if, what but if, what if, what if, if it's... Fortunately, is going to beat them. No, so, no, 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 no. If, if they make it to the final and France makes it, they'll beat France. But if it's Morocco, they'll lose against Morocco. No, well, Morocco is playing France. No, no, I'm saying like Croatia is being Argentina. I, I, I don't want to like on that side of the bracket. Yeah, I think, I think Croatia. If it's, if it's Croatia, France, I won. Croatia. But if it's Croatia, Morocco, I'm, I'm looking for Morocco. Oh, if it's if it's Croatia, Morocco, definitely room for Morocco. I, I think I feel like they will no, lose that game. I, and I feel I'm like that's it's, kind of easy. it's it's kind of an even match, but um. If Morocco, if Morocco finds a way to beat France, they're not losing this World Cup. They're not. Yeah. Imagine so. teams. <laughs> yeah. Hakim Ziyech they're winning the World Cup just to come back and sit on the bench at Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> He's so right. He's so right. Yeah. Grandpa, don't care, bro. Grandpa, Chelsea don't care, bro. We'll put him on at 18 minutes at wing back. I'm telling you, bro, we're so cool. disrespectful, man. It's sad. To our viewers, we're just going to end it there on that note. These guys only know how to joke. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you after we get these semifinal matches on um, on our next episode. So, uh, yeah, guys. enjoy these next round of matches coming up. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with your friends, yeah. all that stuff. Morocco will win. Morocco. Amen. Peace. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a wrap. <laughs>